Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Um, the little fun one from the other day. Very, very easy to do. Just need a, a normal deck of cards with one blank faced card, which you put on the bottom of the deck. First convincer is show them you've got a blank deck. So you have to do a reverse fan. So blank card on the bottom. You don't fan out with you know, them in your left hand. You need to fan the cards with them in your right hand, right? And having a, um, a cold deck, if it's warm, it won't work that well. This is pretty warm now because I've been using it. A cold deck seems to work better because there's a better slide on the cards. So you hold the packet and you'll do a reverse fan, pretty cool, to show everything is all blank. The bigger the fan you can get away with, the better. Will take practice. The last thing you want is something showing. Something showing. Come on, do it wrong. Let's try and get it with them. It's actually shown a bit of a card there. A little bit of a card shown. Now, because everything is all white, a little bit of anything is going to stick out. So that's where you're going to have to practice a lot so you get it. So it all looks perfectly blank. Yeah. Turn it over and close it up. Just in case you mess up and do flash anything. You now do a Hindu force. Shuffle. So you can take a couple of cards off the top. Showing them the bottom card constantly. Showing that it's blank as you explain what's going to be happening. And you keep going until you have got only that one card left in your hand and bump it on the top. Okay. All the time you're doing that, you're explaining that you're using this blank deck. They're going to find the card. They're going to remember the card. You're going to lose it into the deck and then you are going to find their card. Easy. Yeah. At this point, you need to force that card onto them. Use whatever force you are happiest with. The one I used in the performance is a move I shown in a video a couple of days ago. You'll shuffle the card down to the bottom of the packet. You're going to pick a card out of this packet. Spread the cards onto the table and ask them just to slide out any card that they feel happy with. So they'll slide the card out. And obviously it is not the blank one. You'll pick the packet up and hold it down its long edges and you're just going to pop that bottom card out. While it's down like that, you want to pop the bottom card out and use that to scoop that card up. Keep a break between that card and your force card and then you're just going to flip over that force card taking the card that they actually picked onto the bottom of the packet. So you've gone and picked that card. Please remember that card. Because we are now going to lose it into the middle of the packet. At which point you want to lose the card somewhere into the packet. But control it down to the bottom. Right? However you want to do that. I push it in on the angle. Get a grip. Flip it out. Hold it with the little finger and the first finger. Curl it out and then just pull it down to the bottom. And go so your card is now lost somewhere in this packet do another hindu saying so your card could be any oops any one of these cards and i am going to try and find it now when you get about halfway through the packet so when you're doing this one you're taking two or three cards off at a time so you can do quite a few of them and they see quite a few blank cards. And by the time you've got down to the halfway point, one more, you can just drop that onto the top and that blank card is now somewhere in the middle. At which point you're going to say you're going to find their card. So all you do is hold the packet so they can't see and spread through looking till you find the blank card. You can 
puts you up a couple of cards saying it could be this one, it could be that one, it could be this one, it could be that one, and it could be that one. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll pick that one. I'll make sure you take out the blank card. Close your packet up and without them seeing the faces, obviously. And say, so I reckon that is your card. Please tell me if that was your card. To which they're going to say, well, it's blank, but I don't know if it's my blank card. If they're all blank, they all look the same. Well, I'm pretty certain that is your card. And then you just spread out the packet to show it was the only blank card in the packet. And that's it. You can, if you want to, once they've picked their card, get them to sign it. Could add a bit to the 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 fun part. Because they just sign the card, a blank card, which you just then put into a blank deck. And then you're trying to find their card. Well, if it's a blank deck, that's the only one that is signed. It's going to be quite easy to find, isn't it? So when you find it, they're going to go, yeah, well, that's easy to find because it's signed. Well, it was easy to find. For another reason, not just because it was signed, just because it was the only blank card in the packet. So, just two different ways you could finish on that. But anyway, that was it. A little fun effect, which is guaranteed to get laughs. As long as you put some effort in to make it fun. Yeah, magic should be fun. Why not? Anyway, I'm going to shut my face and get off. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you.